we have um, <laughs> percentage of puzzles achieved 5%. That's where we are right now. Um, uh, so there's, a, there's plenty of game to go, which is which is good, right? Um, quick, quick note about the music we are now listening to. This is a pack of, of new, new midis by Doom World's composers who have banded together to make another community-made album of custom midis. This time for Heretic Shadow of the Serpent Riders. The original game had 48 levels, but only 19 in-game tracks. Here is some original MIDI music with the epic style of Kevin Schilder or Skilder's original music in mind. There is um, a website to jamespaddockmusic.com, also jimmythepowerhouse.net. Some links for you to learn more about their project. Because it's, it's wonderful that we have people coming together to produce this album. I think this album came out about two, two, years, two years ago, one or two years ago. And it's super epic, and uh, it says in the README that, you know, you can, you know, play this and alter it however you please, as long as you, you know, credit and include the README um, file in it. But I thought it was perfect to accompany Legend of the Sword, because Legend of the Sword does not appear to have its own music. Um, but, um, yeah, and I, I heard, I heard Fractal Mind Mike playing this in, on his stream when he was playing an EGA game with also no music, and I thought it was perfect. So that's what we're going to go with. We're going to, we're going to get into this now. Okay, so we can see a nest. Search nest. Examine nest. Okay, yeah, I, my frustration, I mean, this is a text parser, which is sweet, because we haven't actually played a text parser in a, in a little while. But, um, I, uh, I don't know what to, what to do about this nest. Examine egg, is there an egg? You haven't got the large egg. Okay, so there's an egg in here, although we can't, we don't know. Okay, there isn't a large egg for us to take. It's four feet of diameter. Look in nest. This is that, That's kind of where we are with this now. And if we try to climb further up, I think we die. If I do recall correctly. Um, so we're not going to probably do that. Take nest. It's four feet of diameter. Okay. <sighs> Examine bird. I'm just trying to imagine what else would be in a nest. It's not telling us. Shuka the bird isn't here. Oh, this is Shuka's nest. Maybe this is where Shuka brings our stuff. It's, Shuka's the minor bird we met earlier who wants to give us help or something, but is asking for stuff uh, or advice. So maybe this is where we can come to retrieve our stuff after we've given it to Shuka. Okay. Take apples. Yum. Examine apples. This game has a lot of fruit in it, and I really appreciate that. Rosy red luster. Maybe we should just keep the apples for now. Let's go west. Path covered in leaves and dry twigs. A branch to my left snaps. Can we hide? Hide from somebody. Look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I mentioned what I what um, cross stitch I would like to do um, after I'm finished the parlor. And this right here, like that one that says the end with the roses and then the knife and stuff. I actually want that to be my next cross stitch project because I think it's so pretty. Okay. Okay, well, we're searching the undergrowth. A humanoid holding a strong bow suddenly pops up from behind a bush in front of me. Okay, we got arrowed. We got arrowed to the chest. Seriously arrowed. That wasn't good. Okay, we, we haven't solved anything else. Okay. Oh yeah, so this is exactly... So see how it's got this beautiful... Um, beautiful... Uh, the leaf border with the end and tough luck. I want that whole thing to be on a cross stitch. Um, okay. Play again. Yes. But I just want to load. I don't want to do all this. Okay, load, nest. Okay, so this time when we climb down from the nest, I'm going to hide from humanoid. Because maybe that's what is required. Down. Take apples. West. Okay, hide from humanoid. Now that we know. Um. Okay. Okay. Okay, 20 yards down the path here, splintering wood. 
Arrow protruding, head high from branch, clambering out of the but butches, butches, bushes. Six angry humanoids run. We run. The path clears. Um, step, the path steps out of the trees and enters a small clearing with only one exit east. Okay, pursuing humanoids enter their door. Oh, we're going to have to do a fight. Oh. Take long... Well, could we have enough time, I wonder? I look concerned. I don't know who that is. It could be me or one of my party members. Oh, take long bow. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to attack. And this is where... This does have point and click as well. We're gonna attack the ugly humanoids with heavy sword. Execute. We're not dead yet. That's good. Okay, we stumbled. Okay, we stumbled. Okay, that didn't go well. We fumbled. Look how happy. Okay, let's try that again. Oh no, oh, we don't have our sword anymore. Oh, this is bad. Okay, we died. Okay, let's not go this way then. Can we tell our... our can, we, can I tell my party member? Okay, let's try another thing, actually. Let's try something else. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm just going to save this here as nest because we just we don't want to keep on doing this. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try to tell my my teammates to do stuff. Uh What are their names again? Okay, I'm just going to click attack because I don't remember their names. I'm going to write their names down. I'm not going to attack them. Because maybe I can tell them to attack. Maybe I, you know, maybe that's the problem here is I'm not Cornelius Deville Borgalius Borgalius and Bilar. Okay. I don't know how to order these guys to do stuff. Okay. Try this again. Yeah, Cypress D, um, it says in the GOG description for this game. Oh, happy Crimson Tuesday, by the way. It says in the in the, the GOG description how many illustrations there are. which And it's like in the hundreds or something. It's kind of amazing. Okay, let's go west. Oh, let's go to map. Go back to map. Okay. Branch to left snaps. Hide in bush. No. Okay. Let's do this again. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, ask Pagan to attack humanoid. Attach. Humanoid. Maybe this is how... It... Don't ask Pagan to do your dirty work. He's just gonna... Okay, maybe, maybe it's percentage chance to failing. Maybe I just rolled badly. Attack. Okay, no. This happens every time. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna load. We're just gonna avoid that area altogether. Because we, we, we're not good at stuff. Okay, forget it. Um, I don't... I don't remember where I've been. <laughs> uh, map. Okay, okay. Well, that makes it easy. Okay, we haven't gone anywhere. Um, let's go north. Okay, tiny animals scream in surprise. Okay. Find a tree lying across the path. I like that. Okay, climb tree. Look at the little mountains. It's feet, feet, ten feet above the ground. One of my hands is... Can I not attack anymore? I'm not good at this. You, you, you like the slanted... I do. It's, it's got some personality. Oh dear. Um, I'm going to load because I don't want my I don't want my I don't want my hand to be bruised. I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to do that again. Oh, look at this. It looks like a little dog. Okay. We walk some more stone bridge. Okay. Smash against okay, rocks, rocks. Okay, driftwood. 
<laughs> Why you're a bunch of weird looking humans? Wow. Okay. A leprechaun. Leprechaun. Happily forming smoke rings. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're starting. We're already starting stuff. De Deville is is starting to start stuff. You're looking. You're looking for a fat lip, aren't you? Oh. Talk. Leprechaun. Shout. To leprechaun. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you find me my pipe. Uh, which was stolen by a dog after I'd accidentally dropped it, I'll give you in return a bottle of, of anti-trolls. Ooh, anti-trolls. Now, does that kill trolls? Because that's what antibiotics do. Right? Or is it like troll repellent? I don't have any coins. So he's got clues and everything. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, I don't have... Okay, stolen by a dog. This guy, okay. We could probably kill him. Mm. <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, it's just not. Let's not. Um. Okay, fine. Well, okay, I'll I'll write I'll write this down. Okay, troll. Okay, no, it's not a troll. Leprechaun. Leprechaun on bridge. Silver coin. So this is by mountains, between mountains. Between mountains. Silver coin for advice. Okay. Um, or And also find pipe. Find pipe stolen by dog for anti-trolls. Okay. Trolls made of anti-matter. Yeah, so, yeah, because trolls exist... Anti-trolls also have to exist theoretically. Otherwise, the mass of trolls that are in the world don't doesn't add up or whatever. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Look, okay. Forces. Okay. Oh, this is a gnarled tree. I didn't even see the tree. Okay, uh examine Elm. Strong signs of charred wood. Examine charred wood that's it okay that's interesting i guess take wood okay no south that we so we can't go west because that's where the humanoids are east oh southeast okay mist great oak smile of mclean what's colorful Surround replace it by twisted formless clumps of wood. Withered leaves hung until they died. A magnificent marble gateway. Ooh, marble gateway. That's new. Door of shimmering purple. Frightful voice. I <laughs> There's that computer again. I don't Maybe that is the placeholder for when they're missing an image. Um, what is your purpose in the swamps beyond this door? We came in search of an enchanted sword and shield you answer. I'm glad I didn't have to do that myself. I see, replies the deep voice, if you can show me proof of your quest and give me the mittens fee of one gold coin, then only then may you enter. Oh my gosh, we have pearls. Okay, so there is a purple sphere. Wants one gold coin. Gold coin. Everyone wants something. I, I like it because it doesn't it shouldn't it shouldn't be. Okay. Can I go in? No, we cannot. <sighs> Inventory. Backpack, sword, apples. Examine backpack. We put um Oh, we don't even have the pearls in this playthrough, do we? Open backpack. Okay, I don't think we have anything. Okay, we have a lot of things we need, but we haven't found a way to acquire anything. Okay, this... Oh, <laughs> here's Ashuka. Still searching for enchanted sword and shield. Oh, it's got a scroll? Ask Ashuka for scroll. 
Oh, I gave him the scroll. Oh, okay. That's the scroll that gave us the hint about um, where the shield and sword lie, which we read, which, which we don't really need. Okay, that's fine. West. Okay, north. So I don't think we've gone north from here. Okay. You make your way to the river's westerly bank. Look. Stone bridge. Okay. This is it? Okay, fine. Keep going west. Okay, so we have been down this way before. Ooh, have we had melons yet? Take melon. <laughs> Apart from Deville, who hates melon, that's a cute note. Great. I like. I like this place. is is very fertile. Pecund, I suppose. Okay, east. Okay. More thick foliage. Just foliage. Um, under mile from junction. Large hole in the ground. Okay, large hole in the ground. Also, at this point, path circles around northeast to the northeast. Side of the hole is a stairway descending toward the entrance of an underground. Oh, have we been here before? Look hole. Examine hole. Six foot on diameter. Have we been down here before? Okay. I can't remember. I think we have. No. Decaying plants, dead leaves, whisperings of hungry rats, flying bats. Oh, another shimmering sphere. When you've given me the password, I will then and only then allow you to pass. Oh, okay, no, we have, haven't we? This is this thing. Password. Yeah, we, 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 we knew about this. Sphere needs password. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we knew about this. Okay, and pints of blood. Okay. <sighs> okay. Yeah, we've we've been this way. Ooh, cat gut. Okay. Ask Pagan for cat gut. Nice. Okay. Examine. Oh, well, we can carry lots of stuff in our hands, it seems like. Examine. Why would I put stuff in the backpack? Five to six feet. Okay. Okay. This is, this is helpful. Okay. I don't know how, but cat gut. Okay. That's all that was here. What can I do with cat gut? Percent. Ooh, still five. Hmm. Oh. A um, beautiful white stake steps out of the brush, turns and faces you. Hanging around its neck is a bottle. By the gods of Anar, it's a dream come true. Why is that? Oh, look at that. Because it's under oath to grant and fulfill any wish its captor may desire. <laughs> Examine stag. Oh, the, the stag is casting a softy spell. Examine bottle. Colored liquid inside it. Throw bridle on stake. Yeah, I mean... Um, make snare with catgut. 
We have a we have a cat gut. Capture stag. Are we going to follow it? Follow stag. Uh oh. Like a herd of elephants, you tread through the undergrowth growth and foliage, leading your men in pursuit. After 10 to 15 minutes, zigzagging through trees, brush, stag disappears. Blast it. We've lost it. Okay. What do we have here, then? Booms of void. Ooh, ants. Group of human scum. Okay, so we need to capture stag. Do stags like apples? Tree ants. Tree ants. Examine tree ants. The bark of the tree ants, which come from the fairy world, are warm. Talk, tree ants. We don't care to talk. How snotty nose can you be? Oh, we're so rude. We shouldn't be that rude. Um. We can go in all directions. Like, uh, ask tree ant. Or stag? What other actions do we have? Examine, show, show, give, get, drop. Okay. Show, cat cut to tree ant. Show, apple to tree ant. Eh. I don't, I don't think that's... Okay, so there are tree ants. I don't know what to do with them. East. Okay. Half a mile, twist back and forth, elaborately tangled. I like the writing. Vines and creepers pass, rotting animal carcasses. Strip to bone half, eaten. Suddenly, a tree in front of you, trees in front, part to reveal a huge bank. Leads down river. Tunnel! Tunnel! Wow. Part. Just in. Oh. Oh, did we just find a tunnel? Oh my gosh. Okay, lay behind you, fall steadily away as you, you and your men head west down the tunnel. Half a mile west of the embankment, as you cautiously lead your men forward, you slowly become aware of a, a strange slithering noise. Suddenly, from out of the darkness, a huge, greatly magnified worm appears. Bloomin' heck, shouts Pagan as he stops and begins to step back. Head of the worm rises, it opens its mouth and reveals a broad, slimy throat with toothed sphincters pulsing within. Worm. Big worm. Cut off tongue with sword? I guess we can just attack it. We're not good at- we're not good at attacking stuff. Can we give apple to worm? Okay, no. Not not only does the worm take the red apples, it also bites your head off, sucks out all your vital organs. Painful. On this occasion, you have failed. Better luck next time. Yeah. Hmm. This game's hard. Load. Cat gut. Yeah. Gee. Okay. Why don't we try to give apple to stag? Although you offer to give the stag the red apples, makes no offer to take them. Okay, we don't have anything else. Okay, how about melon? Give melon to stag? Pat, pet stag? Talk to stag. Oh! A okay, cute surprise stick rears up onto its hind legs and calls over for you and your men to follow. Turns disappears in the trees to your right. Did it do that last time? Yeah, yeah, I'm glad that they specified that sucking up my vital organs and cutting off my head or biting off my head was painful. Okay, so no, we lo we did lose it. Okay, that happened last time. Talk to Treant. Do we want to do the worm thingy? If we leave this in all directions, I feel like we're going to end up in the same place. 
Ask Triant for password? We really know passwords. Ask Triant for advice. Ask Triant about a leprechaun. Ask Triant about Triant. No. Yeah, the faces are good. I really do like the art on in this game. Ask Triant about gold. No. North. Oh. Okay, so this so every yeah oh uh, this all is different dir directions. You step out in the grassy clearing. Several feet in front of you is a well, and to the north of the well is a gold a wooden shack. With smoke spiraling upward from his chimney. Okay, oh, oh. I shall lead, lead the men over to the well. The face of a man who a moment before was watching you through the shack's open window draws back and out of sight. Lying across the top of the circular well is a thin piece of wood with a rope tied ti with rope tightly wound around its middle. Attached to the bottom of the rope is a wooden water bucket. Well, bucket, bucket, save. Well. This is exciting. Well. Ha ha ha! The law said, I'd be so slow at this game, I'd just be trying to kiss and seduce every creature that I come across and other nonsense like that. Yeah, I, I love parser. A, a ridiculous parser is fun. Examine bucket. Examine well. Look. You see a wooden shack. Okay. Um, wind rope. Um, pull rope. Draw water. I don't know how to use this parser quite yet. See, wooden shack and beyond. Because I can't get back to some of the description, right? Examine rope. Rope. Well's rope is only strong enough to carry a bucket full of water. Take bucket. Take rope. Because I want, I, I kind of missed some of the climb down well. Need a rope ladder. Because I can't scroll up from these descriptions, right? Um, north? Okay. Shack's entrance. Okay. Knock on door. Open door? Small dog! Oh, the dog! Maybe this dog took the pipe, right? Talk to dog? Pat dog? Yay, we can pet the dog in this game! Examine dog. Take dog. Okay, he doesn't like to be carried. Gundera, good to see you. Happy Crimson Katoos Day. Better to climb down well and then climb down badly. That's very good. Uh, okay, let's go in. Suspicious. Look at the little interior. Okay. Suspicious, suspiciously step forward. Expecting the man you saw earlier at the window to suddenly jump out and said you find no one. Dingy interior. Oh, oh, hidden, hidden passage. 30 feet in diameter. It's a round hut. Uh, against the far wall behind. Three sturdy looking chairs is a wooden table laden with plates of half eaten porridge. To your left, beneath the shelf of objects, is a fireplace with a healthy fire burning at the hearth. As you enter through, a gust of wind whips the door, open door and blows a calendar from the wall onto the floor. Lying on the table, some brand biscuits and a large bone. Take biscuits. Take bone. Examine calendar. Okay, read back page. Read calendar. <laughs> Take calendar. Read calendar. As well as a monthly date, you find a message right, written on the back page. Messages from a monster high in the wall. Walk out. Walk right. Walk right walk right walk right and then walk through and down 
to the bloodstone. I wish it was a password. I know, there's a paper calendar. Okay. I'm going to take a picture of this. Because it looks important. Uh, <laughs> from a monster high... From a monster high in the wall. Walk out, walk right. Okay. Um... Ooh, rug. See, I think there's probably something down there, right? My problem is that I can't I can't look at some of the other stuff that was in this room. Well, that is pretty. It all has its own graphic. Examine rug. Which along one size nail to floor look under rug? Closed trapdoor, yes. But I do want to look at objects on mantle. Examine mantle. Oh. Examine mantle. If I go out... Okay, um... I'm going to go back in. Okay, see, this is... I don't know how to re-get this stuff. There, There's a command called recap, but I don't... I don't know if it's going to give me, like, a repeat of the, the room description. Dingy interior, okay. Uh, three sturdy looking chairs, wooden table. Oh yeah, porridge. Porridge, porridge. Oh, P.S. Garrick, good to see you. Happy Crimson Tuesday. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so, so, so much for the raid. We're playing Legend of the Sword, and we're listening to this really awesome um, new, like, 2020s new MIDI music that was made uh, for Heretic. Let me give you a shout-out. Thank you, thank you so much for being here. I can figure this out. Okay, so P.S. Un okay, there. Okay, good. Out of pocket. Great. Oh, I just wrapped up. Oh, you wrapped up Police Quest 1. How was it? I've never played any of the Police Quests, but thanks to people like you who actually do Let's Plays of them, I, I get to enjoy without having to actually play through them on my own. But yes, please do follow P.S. Garrick. Uh, check out P.S. Garrick's channel. They they play, yeah, Police Quest 1 and other, and other, awesome, other awesome, awesome games. This okay. Oh uh, yeah. So we're we're in this cottage. There's a trap door. We need to find a pipe. Um, we were told a dog might have a pipe. Okay, let's examine porridge. Oh, examine shelf too. Examine well first porridge. Covering the the, the half-eaten porridge is a strange dark brown substance. Examine substance. It's brown. <laughs> I'm really liking this game. This game actually, um, if anyone's interested in playing this game, it is totally available on Steam and on GOG, this exact edition. And it's wonderful. <laughs> oh, well, Wilco Web, you know this game. This game confused you, uh, you so much as a child, you kept playing it over and over. I, I didn't even know this existed until very, very recently. It's brown. Smell substance. Be serious. Eat substance. Eat porridge. <laughs> porridge tastes great. Well, it did. That is until about halfway through the meal when horrific pains start to shoot up in your stomach. Oh my god. Good acting. <laughs> Slowly the sp spoon drops from your numb fingers as you slump forward. Dead on this occasion you have failed. Better luck next time. You will need it. Still 5% of puzzles achieved. Yes, I want to play again. Okay, but this might be good because now we know that the porridge is poisoned. So we could poison somebody else with it. Okay, so I'm going to load the game. Great. I'm going to go north and knock on door. Did you ever, did you ever finish this game, Wilco Web, by the way? It's a fascinating interface. I like the tiny little um, graphics because that's really all you need. And because it's, they're so small, there's this opportunity to make a ton of them, which apparently they did. Open door. Great. Pat dog. Talk to dog. Make friends with dog. Befriend dog. Uh, ta uh, take dog. <laughs> I like him. Ask dog about pipe. <laughs> the small dog tells you he is not carrying the wooden pipe. <laughs> yeah, go on some. I want tough luck to be written on my headstone too. I want to do that. I want to do this as a cross stitch. I think it's great. Give poison porridge to Manan. Exactly. Um, I'm gonna. Um, yeah, I'm gonna enter. I'm gonna enter the this this place. We, we got um, already, um, so let's take porridge. 
Okay. Take. Wait, there's a lot of stuff to take here. What do you think this is a takeaway restaurant? Oh, we can't take the porridge. Examine porridge. Take substance. Can I just take the substance? I just want the poison. We can't take the porridge. Take bull. I want the porridge. But we can take the biscuit. Because apparently it is a takeaway restaurant that sells biscuits. We can take the uh, bone. We can take the calendar. And you can read the calendar to get that wonderful, this wonderful um, hint about from a monster high in the wall, walk out, walk right, walk right, walk right, walk right. And then I took a picture of this, so I don't really need to, to say it again. But yeah, recap. Okay, yeah, recap actually that gives you the, dis uh, the description again of the room, which is nice. Okay. Chairs, plates, okay. Oh, take plate? I want the porridge. Leave the plate on the table, no. Examine plate. They're round. Examine table. Really trendy table fit for a queen like yourself. Nice. Examine chair. Examine biscuit. Salted and made of bran. Examine bone. It's a leg bone of a wild boar. I wonder if I can eat the bone. Hold on, I'm just going to save it. I'm going to save this as well again because we're close to the well. Yes. Eat bone. Oh, we, <laughs> we broke a tooth. Okay, I, d I definitely don't want to break a tooth. Okay. Yeah, I love this. I love low-res pixel art. I, I love, of course, this is EGA, of course. How could I resist? It is honestly such a treat for me to see um, an EGA text parser adventure game with a unique UI that I've never played before. I'm just so happy right now. Yes, yeah, and the text, the, yes, I want, it, I want to do some project at some point, Blah Holton says, where the art is made of pixels the size of a text block. So text could be legible while the art can be really low res. Ooh, like some kind of ASCII, like custom ASCII stuff almost. Okay, so we're not going to do that with the bone, but yeah, if we examine the rug, the rug, okay, lift rug. Yes, a trapdoor ingeniously high hidden beneath so this is where the guy went off to but let's go out and let's give the dog the bone and see if he can show us to the pipe or something out give bone to dog at the moment the bone is too large for the dog at the moment break bone tiny splinters burst out as you break the large bone examine bone if your taste buds are up to it the broken bone is now a lot easier to eat okay give bone to dog after taking the bone out of your hand, the dog runs past you and near the front entrance of the shack and begins to dig a hole. While digging a hole, he suddenly becomes distracted by a rabbit. Before you can stop him, he disappears into the trees. Ooh, examine hole. Yes! Okay, we did it. We did it. We did a puzzle. Take pipe. Take pipe. Lean forward. Remove the wooden. Okay, examine pipe. So this is the pipe that the leprechaun wants and he will give us anti-troll. This is wonderful. Okay, percent. Percent. Five still, still five percent. That's okay. Save pipe. Yes, pipe. We're gonna get some. Or I saw some anti troll. But first, we gotta go down the um the trapdoor. In. Okay. We have examined the fire, but for the benefit of our raiders, I will look at it again because it is a cute little. Examine shelf. There's also a shelf. Laid with numerous objects ranging from kitchen utensils to old. I want a saucepan. Examine saucepan. Take saucepan. Far too awkward for me to carry. Okay. Um, yeah, speaking of awkward, I'm carrying a broadsword, some red apples, a large melon, a piece of cat gut, some bran biscuits, a daily calendar, and a wooden pipe. And I'm wearing a leather backpack. Nothing is in the leather backpack. I'm carrying everything in my hands. Open trap door. First, you push the rug aside, having released a small latch and pulled the trap door open. You reveal a ladder that descends to what appears to be an empty cellar. Look at that trap. Look at the trap door image there. It's lovely. Fetch quest completed. Exactly. Oh, down. Ooh. Your man following you lead the way down the ladder to the cellar below. Apart from three sets of footprints that start at the base of the ladder and end at the base of the south wall. Ooh, south wall. The cellar is completely empty. Examine footprints. Three sets of footprints are human. Examine south wall. Examine wall. 
Six feet by four foot section of the south wall surrounded by a thin crack. Unless you look closely, the crack in the south wall is almost invisible to the na to the eye. Push crack. Oh. Open crack. Look. Recap. Push wall. South wall. Okay, if you push the south wall, a portion of the wall slides across and reveals a secret passage. Sweet. Yeah, drafty. Carrying everything in, in your hands rather than your backpack is like a true adventurer. I, and so far we haven't had any um, limited inventory, which is kind of nice. Like, this is 1988. We've played plenty of games from this era that had just the worst limited inventories. And I'm, I'm so happy that this is not the case. Let us go south. Last member of the group passes through the secret entrance. You hear a heavy grinding. Looking back, you watch the shack's cellar door close. Now stand at the end of a darkened passage which runs south let's do it look at the passage i love the i love these little i want to make a game like this this is great okay yo oh. walk south dozens of rats which are scurrying back and forth across the stone floor squeal and tear before disappearing down one of the many holes that lie dotted along the base of the passage walls 50 yards south of the dead end the passage arrives at a circular pit which be belongs to a well descend it Descending to the bottom of the well is a wooden ladder. Oh, we can go down more. Down. Let's do it. This music is so perfect for this. Bottom rung of the ladder we reach. Now standing knee-deep in water at the bottom of what appears to be a large well. Exiting the well are two underground tunnels, northwest and southeast. Ooh. Northwest. Okay. Tun tunnel abruptly ends, gushing out like a pressurized geyser from the wide hole in front of you spring water which disappears southeast with little choice you turn and lead the way back to the ladder what do you mean okay okay let's go southeast then with pagan leading the way you walk southeast down the underground tunnel but a mile from the ladder near where the water level drops to about five inches the tunnel circles around to the east. Having followed the tunnel for a further mile, you finally arrive at the exit. You now stand at the west bank of a steadily flowing north and south river. Disappearing west into the hillside is a tunnel. Cool. There's a lot of tunnels in this game. I, I like it. Look. Okay, three sets of footprints. Leading to the bank, disappearing west into the trees above you. Let's track these footprints. Let's see where these people are going. Okay. Oh, to the worm. Are we gonna, we're going to try to attack the worm this time, I think. Let's try it. Attack. Giant worm. Heavy sword. I wish I could give the porch to the worm, but they wouldn't let me. Execute. We have, we suck at fighting. I just, Please do this. Nope. Sword blade pierces the worm's rubbery flesh. With a hiss of annoyance, it turns... And one sickening crunch, its razor-sharp teeth bite through your bones, ripping you in two. Truly unfortunate for you to die in that way, but now, as the bright light of your next life comes closer, you have to ask the question, what will be greeting you? Oh, 5% achieved still. Okay. Okay. Yes, I want to play again. Um, yes, I want to load. I'm going to load pipe. Take. Oh, I can take the bone again. Why not? Wish not, want not. Okay, I'm going to actually save this as pipe again, because I have pipe and bone. Great. And, you know what? I'm probably going to go down the tunnel again, but, um... I'm going to, um, but I'm not going to, like, uh, engage the worm. I feel like these are puzzles, and I wish I was getting credit for them. Ooh, look, above you, crossing over the top of the well, a strong piece of wood with a rope. Oh, okay, so yeah, we know where that is. Okay. Down. Oh, well, how did we miss this? Beneath you, a river of fresh spring water disappears southeast 
down a dark underground tunnel, you also see on a small crumbling ledge a gold coin. How did we miss this? Take a coin. Ask for coin. Ask Cor Cornelius. Give me the damn coin. Or coin. Thank you. Save coin. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we now we have we have the gold coin for the purple sphere to enter the swamp. Look at this. Gold coin. We're we're rocking this game. I think we still have a 5% complete. Yo, 10%. <laughs> we doubled our progress. This is great. This is great. Okay, I definitely don't want to die to the worm this time. Okay. Okay. We're not going to go west because that's where the worm went. But let's look at the map. Okay, we're here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if we go north, we can get to we can get to the troll br the the the, uh, the leprechaun bridge. Give him his pipe, and then he'll give us anti troll. And then the purple sphere is um. My gosh, somewhere, and we can we can um, do that too. But okay, um, yeah, let's um. Let's go. No uh oh. West bank. Oh, we can only oh we can only go west. That's no good. Okay. We're gonna have to retrace our steps. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no. Okay, forget that. Okay. Okay, no, that was bad. Okay, very bad. Okay, west. What? What? No. Okay, west is the same as in. We have a problem. No, oh no. Okay, inventory. Brand biscuits, daily cut broken ball. Oh boy. Examine biscuits. It's a worm. Maybe if we throw the biscuits at the worm, it'll desiccate. This is a problem. Okay. Um, save. I'm going to save as worm. Because this is a problem. Worm. Stuck. This could be a soft lock too. This game does have soft locks. Okay, west. Throw biscuit at worm. Oh, oh, no, that wasn't the, that's not that's not what I wanted to do. <clears throat> Give biscuit to worm. Okay, no, that that didn't work. Yes. Okay. Load worm. Okay. Inventory again. Okay. Cut cat gut. Oh, maybe. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. This is a this is a pickle. Why is this worm here now? I come how come we don't have any other way to go? I don't like it. Um I wanna choke it with the cat gut or something, but Thai cat gut. Okay, life, but half a mile, okay. Can't cautiously lead, ran forward. Huge, greatly magnified worm. Okay. 
It opens its mouth to reveal a broad, slimy throat with toothed sphincters pulsing within. The head of the worm rises and opens its mouth. I don't know. This looks like this looks like it. I don't. Eat the worm. Kick giant worm. Nope. <laughs> exactly. Unmagnify the worm. I don't know. I'm kind of stuck at this point. But we do have, um, you know... We do have the pipe save. And that's great because we don't have to get go through the tunnel um, to go back to the troll. I mean, the lepre leprechaun and give him his pipe. Which, which could be something we can do next time. Because it's 1130 and we are pretty much done for the night, I think. 